Hello guys, this is Mark on my uh, new YouTube channel, Markos Welt. It's a mostly German channel, so this is my first video review in English. Welcome to it. And I figured out I want to do the Cobb Van costume from the Mandalorian TV show um, episode one of season two. And I was thinking of, hmm, might there be a costume available? And I found one and I put the description, no, you, you know, <laughs> uh, give me a moment to uh, get used to speaking English. Um, I put the link of the costume in the description box below so you can check it out for yourself. It's about, well, I paid 80 euros, so it might be a little cheaper in USD, um, including shipping. Um, let's check it out. I only do reviews on costumes which I do not find yet on YouTube reviewed. And so I was checking out for the Command costume, I didn't find it. So there I go with my review take on it. There's half of the costume stuff which I consider carnival stuff. I'm not going to use it, but I'm going to show it to you. And this is what the Chinese guys manufacturing it consider the gauntlet. Keep in mind that Cobb Van, the character played by Timothy Oliphant, has the Return of the Jedi version gauntlets from Boba Fett. No, this is ridiculous. So, I'm not going to use that. Hmm. Uh, where's the other one? We, we'll see. Oh, here it is. Here it is. As you can already see, it has no likeness at all to the original gauntlet from Boba Fett. I can't even tell if it is going to be the left or right version of it. It's a ridiculous joke, but keep in mind, for a carnival costume, it is okay. But I'm not going to do carnival, you know. I'm a serious cosplayer. <laughs> um, I, do, I did an unboxing video in German because, like I said, my channel is mostly German and in the unboxing video you can see how I simply unbox all the stuff and uh, now with everything out of it and doing some cutting stuff I, re I realized there is no English version available. That's the reason why everything is put already unboxed on my table. Now let's get to the serious stuff which I really dislike. Those cheap faux leather imitation of a boot. And as you can see here, yeah, you can wear whatever shoe you like underneath, but I'm not sure if this is going to look any <laughs> like the original thing at all. Later on, I give it a costume try, but unfortunately, before I started recording the English version of my video, I made some changes to the unboxed Cup Van original to make it more resemble the right shape and look. So, um, you might check out, even if you're not familiar with the German language, you can enjoy um, me <laughs> putting all these things on display for you guys out there on the TV um, or the smartphone or wherever. I'm running my mouth now. I, I should get back to track, huh? Okay, the spats impersonating some kind of boot. Uh, here's the better one. That's the second one. Take a look at it. Faux leather. Yeah, quite clear. There's some straps attached to with Velcro. I'm not that deeply impressed. Now you might ask why the heck did the guy bought the thing in the first place? I'm going to show you. There are four reasons to buy this costume as a base for a very, very good and high quality cop van costume. The belt, it's not a highlight. Yeah. Um, this is for you beginner cosplayers. If you think, oh, I'm untalented, I'm unskilled, I, I can't do it, check this out. This should be a belt buckle. Now, I can tell you, every one of you can do better than this. Every one. <laughs> Even if it's your first cosplay, you can already do better. Uh, the belt, 
I might have used it, but take out those cracks and, and faults and, and whatever, and you, you can't use it. You can't use it. The pouch. A functional small leather pouch. You can use that one for some coins or stuff on conventions. Always helpful. But I think I, I keep that one and discard the belt. Uh, the hot star actually looks quite decent. I gotta say, I'm not sure if I can wear it. That's not because I think it looks not that great. I think it does. But the loop, I don't know if I can attach it to a belt. But we'll see later on. And I'm also not sure if I can put a gun inside. It's a bit like the holster from the Mandalorian Din Djarin himself. And with the Excosa version of the costume from Dim Djarin, I, uh, I got that too. Uh, there's not enough space for the proper um, sized sidearm to fit in there. So I'm not sure if it's going to do here. But we'll see. But it's a nice one. I think I keep it too. Okay, Cop Vance does have some cool cloth like a scarf bend around his neck oh i hope you are not speaking no that's not that's the boy scout stuff um he wears it like that you know okay the cloth oh the cloth is actually a good fabric i think i'm going to keep it too check it out decent quality so far that's a reason. But well, simple fabric, triangle stuff like this, couple of bucks, never mind. I bought the costume in size extra large, XL. I'm a guy, um, I'm, I don't know in, in inches, I'm a German guy, so metric system is my friend. I'm one meter 88, uh, so that's 188 centimeters, or I guess it's seven foot one or so. <laughs> um, this is supposed to fit. And the problem is there with all the other costume parts looking like armor, which should be the armor and they're not. And it's not the proper size, maybe for a 10 year old, but no. Oh, yeah. The first of the highlights of the costume is the pair of pants. I really like it. I already attached the belt to it. I've got to say some words on the belt as well. Uh, well, it's the second belt. The first belt um, I already shown and no. <laughs> but the second is quite decent. It's uh, one of the military rigs which operators used to use, you know. feel like a, some kind of Call of Duty guy there. This is the pants. And I was thinking of I look like some guy in the woods chopping trees. That's the wrong color. Don't Cobb Vant has a brown pants on? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, well, actually I do. So I can tell you, wrong color, but decent pants. Nice details. They're actually pouches, which you can use. Pouches on a Star Wars costume. Uh, you, you know, as a cosplayer, you go to a convention and then you always have the problem and the trouble. Oh, where to, to put my ticket, my coins, my, my car uh, keys and, and stuff like this. There are pockets in this costume, so way to go. Um, he has some kind of a cargo pants. Um, the left one is actual, a functional one. So are the smaller parts, here, uh, pouches here. On the right side, that is a fake pattern. So, just the, the pattern, but no actual pouch underneath. Size extra large is ridiculously 
large for my waist. I'm wearing uh, waist uh, 34 and length 34 inches jeans. Um, way too big in any way. But if I choose to have a, a size large uh, costume, then it's too narrow and too short. I don't know what those guys are thinking, uh, taking those measures together for the sizes sometimes. Okay, but I really like the fabric here. As you might see, it's quite decent. <laughs> I'm going to say a few words ah, to the belt. I was checking, as I always do when I um, make a new costume for reference pictures and of course watch the show over and over again. And then I found out, oh, it's a Blackhawk belt. Oh, those are expensive. Blackhawk is a really decent company making great stuff. And so I bought myself, uh, I, I found myself, when in, in Germany it's about 20 bucks, 20 euros for a Blackhawk belt, uh, some rig like this. And then I was going for, mm, uh, let's take a, the, the discount version, um, the cheaper one for eight bucks. So I did. I <laughs> unboxed in the German video uh, the belt saying that the original version is from the company of uh, Black Hawk and then I got this into my hands and where it is? Here it is. That is the original belt which came with the costume. It is the Black Hawk original. You can tell by <laughs> the, the discount version, don't have the buckle and the, I don't know what uh, to make of this, um, those parts are olive in the discount version and only Backhawk does them uh, black. So that is the genuine one. <laughs> so that is one reason to, to get it on with a costume. You get the original part, which is quite cool by the way. Then you get a pants, maybe I'm going to dye it into brown and hope for the best, we'll see. Uh, but that was not the reason I bought it in the first place. The reason is, if you go to the dentedhelmet.com, that's the um, place to be for all of the Mandalorian costume guys, starting out with Boba Fett in all of his glory and all of his costume versions and Din Djarin and all uh, Mandalorian Mercs stuff, they all do have the trouble getting the fabric for the shirt right. There are even guys out there who bought themselves for, let's say, 70 or 80 bucks um, in US dollars, of course, uh, the right fabric for the shirt. Okay, uh, like I said, the shirt is about 80 bucks. That is the correct shirt. That is one of the reasons I bought it. And then keep in mind, you already get the correct Blackhawk rig with it. So, great stuff. That's the shirt. Right shape, right color, right fabric, way to go. Decent stuff, guys. Decent stuff. I really like it. I put it on later, you will see. And the other thing which is a bit mm, off is, remember the gloves Cobb Vant uses? It's the same as um, Moff Gideon, the character from season one, the final episode, played by Giancarlo Esposito. And he uses those paintball and airsoft half finger gloves. Those are black. Cobb Vant has the same model, but in tan. I bought those before I ordered the costume. Those came with the costume. So, I think, I think it's quite cool they included them because it wasn't shown on the picture they uh, included the gloves so I'm quite happy I got them all along but wrong color yeah well a matter of I guess it was 10 euro in the US it should be way less than this so <sighs> but decent gloves but all form of Gideon not for Cobb Vance <laughs> the second thing which I was looking forward to was the flag vest of Boba Fett. Um, it uh, received some kind of an overhaul. As you can see in the show, it has some stepping 
I don't know if it's the correct term in, in English, but I use it anyways, you know, um, those, ah, I got lost there. So it is different, okay? <laughs> it simply looks a bit different than the Boba Fett original. And I'm going to show you the stuff attached to it. The Chinese guys always do that. They think cosplay is a matter of cheap leather crap looking like metal parts or armor parts. I repeat again, my size is uh, seven and one inch in height. I ordered the costume in extra large. This is supposed to fit my size. I'm going to show you what I did with EVA foam. That's for my Boba Fett costume, um, which he has later on in the show. <clears throat> I don't know, but maybe you understand why I just keep the West and detach all these silly crap from the West. That's the actual size of the thing. Okay, so I had to get rid of all this crappy stuff. That is the back part, which is quite decent that you can Velcro it on. I'm thinking of keeping that one and simply repainting it, getting rid of these, oh yeah, it's already attaching itself, of these uh, silly looks and getting it done in a, in a proper way with a dry brush and some silver and we, we'll see how that works out. That is the uh, padded flag vest. What I like there is if you order a Boba Fett flag vest, it's not padded. It's not, I don't know, stilted or whatever in any way. That one is. <laughs> and you can tell where I removed those fake leather stuff. The um, upper arm section is a bit tiny compared to the original one. I'm going to show you the original one. It's from Man of War Studios. For those of you who know, great, uh, great place to get your Boba stuff from. Boba Maker has it as well. Um, this is my DIY stuff for my Empire Strikes Back Boba Fett. And as you can tell, the arm section looks not that big as it should be. Yeah, and see that? This is not around on the cheap Asian version. But well, actually, fine for me. I can do it later on if I want to, but you, you won't see it when I attach some of those armor parts to the vest and it, it'll be fine. Okay. Yeah. And I tried to make a decent cop van costume out of uh, that China stuff. So far, you can use it as a carnival costume as well. And it's worth the price, I can tell. Um, if you are looking for an improved version, more um, getting there to the original character than the, um, than the carnival version, you can totally do that with the included soft parts, especially if you're looking for the shirt. I really like the pants, but I think the color is not right. Um, so I'm going to check out some things, but let's see how the parts are matching together when I have them all on me. And now I do have my costume on and as you can see it fits me. I have size large. As I mentioned I'm a guy in Imperial uh, I'm seven and one and in the metric system I'm 188 centimeters tall. Um, my German size is 52 if anybody of you can uh, make something out of it. Um, as you can see the costume fits me quite nicely except for two things and I'm going to point it out 
as we speak later on in the video. But let's start up with the uh, shoes and the bottom part of the costume, so to speak, the spats. I really like the spats because they have the quite um, correct fabric, so, uh, it's part of a leather, and they do look like in the show. What I did is I combined it to my boots, uh, which I use for my Mandalorian costume, but you can see it's uh, in the show when Timothy Oliphant represents the character of Cobb Vant, he uses some kind of, hmm, don't know the correct English term, um, combat boots or, or adventure boots, so to speak, but you, you figure it out if you type it in on Google and you, then you can check it out there. Okay, um, I really like the pants. The pants are phenomenal. They don't, not only do they have functional pockets, no, they are the right shape, the right color, they do everything they should do. So you can put in your car keys, your smartphone, if you're on a convention or occasional cosplaying on a party. And I really like the rig. That's not a simple belt, it's a tactical belt, just like an, an, an army rig. I pointed out it is the model from the uh, manufacturer Black Hawk, and I really like that. It's the right shape, right color, everything perfect. Okay, coming to the um, holster belt. Uh, yeah, the belt is okay, but not very good if it comes to the buckle. But in the unboxing part of the video, I already have um, said so. So, moving on to the shirt. Phenomenal. I like the texture, I like how it fits me in size large, it is quite good. But coming to the flag jacket. <laughs> um, I do have some difficulty in uh, breathing in because it's very tight and tight is not super easy and uh, well, I do have difficulties moving around in this. So I, for a guy who is into the costume and really wanted to have it, I recommend putting on the extra large version. I do have the one as well and it fits me more better, but only with the flag jacket. The shirt in extra large and the pants are so extra large, it is too big for me. And so I really dig the large version. I prefer wearing those uh, parts. The gauntlets, see for yourself. You cannot take this serious, guys, seriously. Not even as a party costume, no. The, the Cosplay Sky costume from the Mandalorian um, is a great asset to have. So the gauntlets from the Mandalorian are far superior to those cheap models. They don't even resemble the, quite the look from the TV show. Um, that should be the gauntlets from uh, Boba Fett uh, in the version of Return of the Jedi. Um, yeah, no. I'm going to replace that totally. And can we take a look at my not existing shoulders here? Can we? Yeah? Take a look. <laughs> that is size large, guys. They, of course, they simply do one set of uh, faux leather armor parts. And this is used for every size given. So no wonder this is size large, size extra large size. I, I compared that. So they do are the same size. Um, take a look at this cheap trick of an E part. No. <laughs> Uh, no, simply no. <laughs> I'm going to replace uh, that and that, of course, and well, we see about the other parts. The scarf is quite okay. Um, yeah, I simply have it loose on my neck because Cobman does have it loose on his neck too in the show. And so for just showing you the costume, it is okay, I think. Um, the, what's the word? Gloves. Yeah, that's it. Gloves. Take a look at the gloves. They are really good quality, really nice ones, but the problem is they are correct for Moff Gideon. Yes, Cobb Van does have the same model, but in tan, not in black. So that is my costume review. Hope you enjoyed seeing the costume. I'm going to do a video on how to modify the costume so it is looking more like an actual costume from the show and not like a cheap version for Halloween party. Um, so catch up with me on the next video. Hope to see you soon and this is the way.